Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your tarot reading. So as we come into the last month of this year, I feel like um, the overwhelming theme that is coming up for many of you here is um, the fact that, you know, career and your love, your career life and your love life don't exactly coincide the way that it should. I feel like for many of you, the career is taking off, or at least it has always been very stable, very financially lucrative. There's room for growth and expansion all around you. So you can choose to stay, you can choose to leave, but either way, you are a fighter in the professional realm. You're a force to be reckoned with, and I feel like you're always constantly in high demand. And then on the other hand, I just feel like in the relationship sector, there is a lack of a clear direction as to where you and your partner are headed and where you and your partner need to be and whether or not you guys are on the same page. And I'm also feeling for some of you as well, um, having difficulties finding the right relationship partner that can really match your energy you know where they kind of chip in when you chip in rather than waiting for you to take charge waiting for you to take the lead okay and i feel like this month the energy regarding you know career not coinciding with relationships i feel like you are kind of internalizing this energy meaning that you're really thinking about these issues. You're uh, taking, you know, time to seriously think them through. And some of the qu the things that I feel coming up are, um, you're wondering, is it me? And you're also wondering, is it something that you've done? Are you somehow inadvertently repelling the right people? Are you somehow inadvertently making, giving a lot of leeway to the wrong people. And I, I feel like overall, this is a process that you have to go through, you have to experience so that you can really redefine what type of a relationship you're looking for. And um, the message that I am feeling here is, they're saying, you know, you have your future um, set out in a certain way, okay? So I feel like a lot of Aries people uh, even when you were a lot younger, I feel like, you know, somehow the future is already set out. You have a general idea of what you want to be and uh, where you want to go. And you do want a position where you can interact heavily with other people, where you can feel proud of your skills and your expertise and everything that you're bringing to the table. And I'm also feeling as well... Um, it's really hard once you have a plan set up to kind of like um, create that wiggle room to include another person. So I feel like uh, that might be where the problem lies because you're going along on your straight path and then the other person is like taking detours and tangents in order to merge into your lane. And you really need to ask yourself, vibrationally, are they on the right page to be with me? Um, or are they just going along for the ride? That's what it feels like to me. So if your future is already, you know, carved in stone, or at least it's already, already formed, and you have these stragglers that are just coming into the mix, trying to, you know, weave into your future, you want to ensure that the people that you're dealing with, and this is in all capacity, not just relationships, you want to make sure that you're creating a future with someone that, you know, whose future is already set up as well, okay? That way you guys can go parallel, but you guys are both moving forward rather than somebody tagging onto your lane and tagging onto your, your dreams and your aspirations and making it theirs and then... I feel like there's some resentment from their end that they're at the end of a relationship, they kind of dump on you. And so this is a, a pattern that I feel it's definitely not from your end, but it is from the relationship partner where in the relationships, in the past relationships, they feel a little bit kind of like that they had to sideline their own goals and you didn't ask them to but they felt like they had to do it in order to keep up the pace with you. And so I want to say slowing down would be an option if the other person is worth it. Slowing down, allowing them to catch up, allowing a little bit of a compromise, that would be good. 
but at the same time just make sure that you know they have their own goals and their own plans and that you both are you know progressing um, not so much together separate but together progressing at the same pace okay I'm also feeling as well uh, there are new changes in your work environment I'm seeing like um, a high rise so I don't know if you're in a really tall building and you have an office or you have a space designated for you like I'm seeing designated parking designated space that is exclusively yours and from there you feel safe but you also feel like is this what I'm meant to do? Is this, you know, are, are there more opportunities out there? I feel like some of you, there might have been some recent job changes. And I'm also feeling it's a career track. So you have more opportunities to grow, to expand, to, you know, continue to get um, to, I, I guess, like um, jump vertically into different positions. But I feel like some of you as well are thinking about possibly changing the industry that you're in altogether. So, for example, you could be um, a researcher for a university and you're thinking about, you know, possibly shifting into a different arena, um, possibly doing like research for a pharmaceutical company, for example. So going from public into the private sector or just um, you know keeping the same profession but going with a different company and you're kind of feeling things out scoping out the territory and seeing what else is available for you and i'm also sensing as well on the career front um you're picking and choosing who qualifies for what so i feel like you have a lot of executive power under your command under your control and you have um, a lot of like sway over somebody else's livelihood that's what it feels like to me and i don't feel that you're going to you know abuse the power i don't sense that but i do feel there are a lot of um i want to say a lot of control over uh, the people that are coming to you that want assistance from you or that want help from you or that are working under you. You have a lot of sway. You have a lot of control. You can guide them towards, uh, you know, soaring heights or you can lead them down a dark path. And, but I don't feel you abusing your power. I feel like you are, you know, trying your hard to make sure that everyone is able to be self-sufficient and to be independent so that they don't become a burden to society, a burden to other people, a burden to themselves. So I feel like there's this um, energy about you uplifting, wanting to uplift people in whatever work capacity that you're in. I feel like the word is wanting to create independence, wanting to break patterns of dependencies and as well breaking patterns of, you know, codependencies, which is, I feel, playing out in all your relationship sector it's not just you know the people you're working with but i feel like breaking these patterns where you're not succumbing or you're not falling for the same the the same old traps okay you want people to be independent and i do feel like you know clinginess and um being too emotionally needy when you're dealing with somebody like that it it kind of aggravates you and uh you pride yourself in being able to be very very strong and very independent and you expect that same mentality from other people so you rarely play that role you know that victim mentality and i do feel like there is somebody coming in i am sensing it in this spread for this month where they do have that victim mentality and you're trying to find a way to uh I, I want to say expose it so that they can see it and they can make changes, not to expose it and shame them, okay? So let's go into your reading here. It is a little bit of a dynamic reading because um, I was getting a lot of um, messages and cards that flipped out for you when I did the initial meditation. And um, I relay most of the majority of the messages that, um, you know, in initially. But let me talk a little bit about this month. This is a wealth foundation building type of a month. This is in preparation for what's to come for the next few years, okay? I'm sensing for many of you, there is this sense of like really thinking about your relationship, okay? So this is like a significant love relationship. For those of you in relationships, we're not talking, you know, somebody that you're newly dating or somebody that you're kind of messing around with. We're talking like 
serious relationships. Um, there is a lot of great emotional rapport, a great emotional connection, great sense of trust between two people. And I'm also feeling as well, um, a lot of the times, if you, you've you been with somebody and they were around through, you know, the good and the bad, if they were around for you when things were tough, uh, you never forget that person. So in a way, you have a very strong sense of loyalty about you. And you will never for, forget somebody that helped you out in a time where you were distressed. Some of the other signs, they, they do forget, unfortunately. And I feel like in, in your world, the ones that were around, the ones that stuck around, the ones that, you know, rough it out with you, um, you really value that. And in a way, it can be hard for Aries people to let go of people that they admire, that they look up to, that, that never did them wrong. And I'm feeling like there is a relationship that is uh, indicative of that. You know, it embodies all the traits where they care about you, you care about them. And no matter what, even if you were to part ways, you would still care about each other. There still would be that emotional nurturing connection that is really hard to sever. Some of you, this relationship has already left your life. And you're at a point right now where you are trying to move on. You're trying to figure out what else is out there for me, what else is available, and the, the options, the choices that are on the table. I just feel like they're great, but the, that, that sense of, uh, I, I want to say deep-rootedness, that sense of chemistry, that sense of passion, that sense of like really loving somebody on a human level, it's just not really there anymore. And so I would say if you're in this state, I feel like you might be with a partner, but you're looking for somebody that you really look up to, admire, and respect. And um, honestly, I don't feel that the relationship partner that you're currently with, there's great chemistry. There's, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice relationship. But I just feel like, for whatever reason, there might be values differences between the two of you where the t you have to kind of like curtail your value system. You might not see um, a lot of things eye to eye with them. You do things very in a very independent way. You start things, you get things going, you get things moving. And the other person, I feel like they might be dragging their feet. They might, be not, they might not be as proactive, as goal-oriented, as ambitious and they don't really know how to start things. So it seems like they need you to be that catalyst to allow them to, you know, to kind of like light that fire under them. And so that's where it becomes a little bit tiring because you don't want to constantly have to, you know, lead the way. It, it gets tiring. And when we are constantly on the forefront, charging ahead, leading the way, if we make mistakes, it's all on us. It's not on the followers. It's not on the people that are, you know, uh, following you. It's on you. And that can feel over time, if it keeps happening, it can feel very, very tiring. It can feel a little bit scary. And it can also feel like, why isn't my partner, you know, next to me, alongside me doing these things? Why do I have to take the initiative? And if you are somebody, if you have a lot of strong earth in your um, chart, and so this is, you know, uh, very strong Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy in your chart, you, and um, I feel like you might subscribe more to the traditional gender roles where you feel like, you know, the masculine energies need to take charge, the feminine energy needs to follow the leader. And so if you are especially if you consider yourself female and you constantly have to do these things, you might not have much respect for your partner. You know, despite you know the the uh, the great emotional connection, the trust here. I just feel like over time it can feel very very tiring, and it can feel very scary. Like, what if I make a mistake? And um, I'm I'm sensing that many of you are are constantly charging ahead. And you don't really take time to analyze these things, you know, analyze 
Like, I like my partner, but something's missing. What is that key element that's missing? Well, I feel that the key element is, are they proactive? Are they taking charge? Are they, you know, alleviating that burden for you? And if not, you need to have these conversations because I feel like something's missing in a relationship. And I'm also feeling as well, at this point in your life, okay? So you could be, you know, in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s watching this. The world is opening up for you. Opportunities are calling, travel engagement, um, seeing friends, expanding outwards, having disposable income to really spend it on luxury goods, luxury things. And your partner might not be on the same page as you financially where they are, they can afford all of these things. And so while you're planning these things, the partner might be lagging behind financially or just, you know, motivation wise. And you find yourself kind of like, oh, now I have to do these things with my friends or I have to do these things alone because it just feels like they're not on the same level. They might not have the disposable income. They might not have, you know, they might not prioritize these things. They might still be stuck in, um, they might be stuck in s still like, you know, taking care of their basic necessities, like their survival. And so it can feel a little bit like the relationship sector can feel a little bit lopsided. And so I'm sensing many of you are, you know, right now thinking about like, what do I need to look for in a relationship partner? So the first four cards basically scream out to me, there is some relationship here. It looks to me like it can be very good, but I feel like it has held you back for some years, okay? Some of you are newly single and you're going through the motions of dating and you're still using that person from the past with this, you know, great energy, um, great emotional connection. You care about them even after you both have broken up. You don't have like um, a single horrible thing to say about them. You care about them. And you're using that as kind of like the barometer, the, um, the standard as you go into the world trying to find, trying to find suitable relationship partner. You're using that person as like the, the gauge, the marker. And if somebody, you know, happens to have the same qualities as that person, then you're going to be all in and you're going to want to date that next person. But I honestly feel like if you have especially been involved here with an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn, sun, moon or rising, and we have very strong Virgo and Capricorn vibe in this reading, if you've been involved with them and you're kind of using them as a barometer, this is the month where you have some eye opening insights. And you're going to be like, uh, it wasn't all that great. That person was not on my playing field. Okay. That person vibrationally and energetically was not on the same page as you. And yes, there might've been great chemistry. You both really cared about one another. You, you, I feel like, you know, the, the love definitely was there, but it feels to me like it might be a great person, but it's not the greatest person for you and so moving forward we have to you know create new standards from scratch as we age as we get older as we experience things in life our perception change the things that we need change and so if you're using this person from the past they might have been appropriate they for the past they might have been a great person but i just feel like it's a wrong standard of measurement to use to you know meet new people does that make sense so take the time take the time this um, month to start to manifest some things and I feel like if that's what you are you're you feel very stuck in relationship sector try to write down qualities of you know the person that you want to be with and I feel like you need to admire the person that you're with you need to look up to and admire the person that you're with so no matter what that means to you, you know, some people admire strength, emotional or physical. Other people admire wisdom. I feel like you're kind of like dating, expending your energy outwards, but you're not finding that person that you truly admire. Somebody that, you know, has either great insights or great wisdom, or even they're stable and they, uh, 
they always follow through okay so i feel like whatever the the standard is you need to redefine it and you need to you know write down these qualities so that you're not just fumbling around in the dark trying to find the next person or you're not using outdated standards to measure the next person with okay so that's pretty much like the the relationship let me talk about the other things that are happening in your uh, in your spread what I do feel here this is the career and work card okay and this is basically um, skills that you have spent many 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 years um, accumulating learning uh, becoming an expert in so I feel like some of you are kind of like an expert in your field and you're being paid adequately what you are worth I rarely see Aries people staying in a dead-end job or staying in jobs that don't appreciate them so I feel like you are where you need to be financially and professionally this is a card about you know accumulating further experience and I feel like some of you might have already maxed out some of you are thinking like, I'm not really learning anything anymore. Everybody's coming to me, consulting me, distracting me from my work. So I need a new environment. And some of you might be thinking, flirting with, you know, looking at opportunities elsewhere. Some of you as well could potentially be recruited by another organization, another company. And um, it's like outside of this company, recruited from outside. So I feel like fast communication coming in here. And um, they're going to lay some options in terms of positions at your feet. And they're also going to talk to you possibly about salary as well. And I feel like at this point, um, those options look okay. I mean, they, they look like, you know, they have a lot of room for growth and a lot of room for expansion. But they're, you're, you're not really sure like if you're ready to leave the comfort and the stability, the comfort and the stability of uh, this current work environment to jump into the next. But I do feel you're going to go ahead with them, okay? So, um, you know, as adventurous and as um, daring as you are, a lot of the times going into a new work environment where you might not know anybody where you might not have uh, already a friend there where you might not where you might have to start over it can be very exciting but I do feel that uh, Aries um, you like to have an ally or a comrade or you know somebody there that you already know so the the process can feel a little bit frightening in other areas of your life I feel like you're very daring but this is something right now you're at a point where you're concerned financially. And I also feel this also um, reflects an energy where you might have a lot of expenditures, you know, mortgage, housing, bills, um, family obligations as well. There's a lot of financial expenditures. But what they're saying is these financial expenditures are not real. You definitely can cut corners and curb your spending so that what you really need to live and to survive on is a lot less than you think okay and i'm also feeling many of you are at a point where you are retired and contemplating your next adventure your mind is still very very restless and i do sense there is an element here about you know having some people coming to you for uh, contract work having people coming to you for to solicit you to do like you know I'm, I'm seeing like creative projects as well publishing uh, part-time work freelance work or even you know co consultation work and I feel like it's gonna bring a lot of um, financial prosperity and you might have more than one option on the table for you and so do with that as you please because I feel like financially things are gonna be very very um, lucrative okay so say yes to new opportunities always and I also feel as well um, for some of you if you are waiting um, if you're waiting for um, like if you've gone on a job interview if you've applied for a loan if you've signed on something and you're waiting on the decision of other people the wait is going to take a little bit longer than you would expect and I feel like you would get some feedback towards the end of this month and it has nothing to do with your skills it's just a lot of people are uh, applying for the same thing so they have a lot of applications 
that they're looking at and there's also this element here about there's a lot of backed up work around the holiday season so everybody is busy everyone is like um scrambling scrambling to come up with funds if you're applying for a loan if you're applying for grants if you're applying for funding and uh, it's you know they're they're not really sure how much money they have and then likewise, if you're applying for a job and you're waiting for feedback, there's a lot of backed up work in the organization. So they're going to take their time. And it's not like they have forgotten about you. You're not forgotten, nor it, it's not. It, it doesn't seem to me like, you know, they don't want you. It seems to me like they have a lot of logistical things they need to take care of from their end. And then there's going to be this wave, this flood of communication coming especially the last week of this month okay so um i would say like around after the 25th of december okay after the the christmas time frame all right so hang in tight and um i hope the reading has been helpful for you guys um i wish you all the best enjoy your holiday season and blessings to you all take care bye bye